Hello and welcome to episode 60 of my easy mode playthrough of Mighty Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. I am re-recording this episode because uh, after recording a previous version, I realized, well, I found out that uh, there was no voice recorded. And it happened because I opened OBS first and then plugged in my mic, which didn't reinitialize the microphone in the OBS, so there was just game sounds. I know my voice is not really that amazing, enticing or fun, but uh, there is actually a pretty, well maybe not interesting, but there is a story to what's gonna happen in uh, this next dungeon and uh, you can see that yeah I already uh, went to episode 60. Anyway I'm gonna replay this again so if it looks like uh, I know what I'm doing then that's because I've already played through this game so we are standing in front of Tomb of Varn which is one of the most one of the more interesting dungeons in the game mm, because it well you can plainly see that it clearly evokes the Egyptian feel so there's Sun God Ra some uh, painting which uh, looks like it was taken from the real pyramid and some hieroglyphics on the top so the enemies will also be uh, Egyptian themed and look at this this picture is beautiful anyway this pyramid seems to be made of strange weathered metal it appears to be partially buried in the sand yeah so uh, there are several Egyptian themed enemies in the game one there's one type that we haven't seen before which is which are the genes uh, and uh, they can put fear they can put us to sleep and uh, I'm not gonna worry about curing that because that's gonna happen all the way too often and the other type of enemy we already uh, met uh, if you remember there was a uh, defender of Varn in Hall of the Fire Lord a strange creature moved into the Hall of the Fire Lord all the way back in Butek Bay and uh, in Tubo Varn we will see his buddies, which are basically people of the head of Anubis. Bit of more light. So they can put us to sleep, they can uh, make us fear them, but it's not really something that I'm really worried. Okay. So there's Genie, there's Efrit, which is, has the highest hit points, and the uh, Jin has is like a middle, so they're not that re really that tough. The problem with this dungeon is that there's so many of them that you know it's quite difficult. Like, you know, it's the number of enemies that is the problem, not the quality. Uh, they're like uh, upper tier enemies, so level uh, 40 to let's say 60. So Fireball works on these, uh, and uh, Dragon Ball also works on them, but uh, uh, there are enemies which are immune. So here is a tapestry that we will decode. It says, though the crossing of the void be a long and arduous journey, the land you find at the end will be sweet and unspoiled by ancestors or the enemy. Take heart that your children's children will live in a perfect world free of war, free of famine and free of fear. Remember your sacred duty to care for the ship on her long p voyage and ensure her safe arrival in the promised land tend well to the guardian tend well the guardian and house it securely away from the ship lest both be lost in a single misfortune so it tells a story of a journey through a void Defenders of Varn, the twin, to notice, grey men with uh, Anubis head. So they were tough back 
you know, for the episodes ago. I have like 250 points, so they would, would be a long time killing them, but uh, right now they just fall so quickly. Thank you. So there's another type of string. You decipher hieroglyphs intermixed with diagrams of devils. Remember our enemy, children, and never underestimate the danger they pose. Though you will never see one during your journey, you must be forever vigilant against invasion from the void once the voyage has ended. Mighty beyond words, the enemy is nonetheless vulnerable after a crossing, for their numbers are small and their defenses weak. Use the energy weapons carried on the ship to defeat them, and never ever engage the enemy with less weapons, or you will surely perish. So these tapestries tell the story uh, of uh, crossing for the void. Basically, this this uh, pyramid, this tomb, is an arc. Uh, as I said at the very beginning, I never played the previous iterations of Might and Magic, so, but uh, basically there's a good guys, I don't know, remember how are they called, but they have been in eternal struggle against the Krieg and the devils. And uh, they seeded many planets. And this is one of the planets that they seeded. And upon landing, all that technology seems to have been lost or forgotten. Uh, it's been all more than 1100 years ago, so the, the high technology has reverted back into, let's say, the medieval technology augmented nevertheless by magic and now the Kriegen has have arrived more than one millennium later and want to spoil the fun okay so what I'm gonna do actually is what I have to remember is we don't need uh, any earth spells we augmented, but we'll need mana regeneration. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that ring equipped. So picked up a key. This key is called the backdoor key. So you can see that there is a pyramid hidden within the pyramid. So this is like a monumental structure. We have uh, two monument, two, two columns here, which have plaques, which read In case of energy leak, bathe in one of the mitigated pools placed for your safety and convenience. The other side it reads Warning, power fluctuations, alert engineering immediately. So there was an accident that happened. But uh, in case we s we get anything, any problems, we should step in the pool. So these are called the flame doors, which are locked. And you can see there are many enemies already behind them. But this is not where we're going to go for now. We're going to clear one place. So what you're supposed to do with, uh, with the backdoor key, as it says, there is a backdoor over here somewhere. So you're supposed to go all the way around and uh, enter the main structure from the backdoor. But this is... 
Okay, this is not what you're supposed to do. This is what you can do, basically. This gives you an option. But uh, uh, going that puts you in a v in an immediate danger, which means we're not going to do it. This here is a teleport to a place which is like on a higher level. But over here we have Gotta just an exit, and there are. Oh, I'm gonna do. Okay. This. He left stuff up. So there's a lift, and there are three buttons. These two switches will damage us, but this one will get us down. And there's nothing else in that room, at least apart from the exit. If you know that's the exit, it puts you exactly the same spot as the normal entrance, so you can't really get into this exit from the outside. At least I never found a way. So here are... Defender of Varn is the lowest tier enemy. Sentinel of Varn is the middle tier enemy, and they're, s and they're still sus susceptible to magic. And the top tier enemies are immune to magic, so we can only kill them with... Uh, they're called Guardians, and they have red robes. And they're completely immune to magic. There's a picture, and its plaque says the entrance to the pyramid lies to the south. The south is over there, so... Yeah, we're going to be coming back here, but I want to clear this as well. So here we see the Guardian. Guardian can actually uh, damage our inventory. So there's another entrance which I won't be taking. We'll be walking through here at some point, so... I'll come back later, but right now... I'm gonna go get... I'm gonna go past the flame door. So, we landed here. We're gonna go past the flame door and there's actually... a place you can get on the other side. You can see I don't need uh, many powerful spells because they seem to fall down quite nicely without them. Only the Guardians are immune to spells. This is the door up. So, I want you to look at this button here. On our very first playthrough of my brother, we didn't notice this button the switch, which opens a hidden uh, cache. Which contains two things. Flame door key and captain's code. And also a crystal skull. So crystal skulls are now relevant, so I'm going to distribute them to specific, per specific people. So let's see what this captain's code is about. Let's read it. When the landing commences, Captain, take this code, scroll to the central control chamber and speak activator key CRIC when prompted. All of the senior officers must be pre must present their code, scrolls and keys to open the way. 
yours is the last key in the sequence. So at some point we'll have to say speak a code. Making sure we have proper yeah. They can put me to sleep, but that's not a problem. I can always cast Awaken if necessary. But that's not necessary. So there's really no way to get there unless you know a little trick that's present in all games of this era, which I'd like to call Walking on Textures. So you have to position yourself and just walk on texture very, very, very slowly down and you can enter this. This is Guardian Varn, he's quite high level, I think 65 or something. Uh, and uh, yeah, oh, we already saw one. So he's a bit more resistant to all forms of persuasion, including magical. Because they don't do lots of damage, but they're annoying as hell. There's a magic lamp that can be exchanged for gems back at the at the Dragon Sand Village. So I have a few more shekels. So lamps are all gonna go to Ifa. 
because she loves lamps. I love lamps as well. This will be useful. Effort is immune. Okay. Past an AM, so I can uh, go back and sell all the magical stuff that we won't ever need anymore. We couldn't sell bef before this episode. Unfortunately, there is a second room like this ahead of us, so um, apologies for that. Damn. I think. Uh, a quick fireball, maybe something with the fire. No, not really. person I didn't want to fall asleep, fell asleep. So many of them, holy shit. So I could kill them before the others would came come by. Well. 
can't always get what you want. Just have to power through now. There's no other way. Oh, so many guardians. Uh, yeah. Gotta work just like new. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set Lloyd's Beacon over here. What in the God's name did I do? Okay. I screwed up a bit because that was the slot for our. Um, lady that we need to visit later okay not so many <laughs> sentinels the rest are just guardians which are immune This is called the Biblioteca, because in each bookcase you can find a high tier uh, spell book. And these two murals contain codes, and this chest is locked. We need a uh, key to this chest. So there's an engineer's code. Oh, come on. Engineer's code reads Etox, and comms officer code reads Aruhu. Fly, implosion, starburst, lights, beacon, mass distortion, incinerate, meteor shower, all the spells that we have. So, I'm gonna TP back to Usurpigal and we st let's start selling. Touch the merchandise. Aha. Oh, this will help. I love lamp. Looking for a weapon? Come again. Oh, this will help. Can 
I help you find anything? I don't know. Oh, Thanks. Come again. Looking for a weapon? Come again. I'm really surprised that uh, Emer hasn't been hit by any fear. Be with you. Okay, I'm gonna recall the Tomb of Var now. Safe. So this is exactly the room like before. And what you hear, that buzzing sound, perhaps in the background, is the one of the more annoying enemies in the game. But moon, moon. She's afraid, okay. Well, well. Points plus 24. Ooh, this will be useful. 615 points, but we have Ares. Yeah, plus 30 fire damage. I think that's a little bit better. Plus hit points plus 24. This is might and this is might. Yeah, I thought so. As you can see, she was put to sleep and our fly disappeared. Just noting.
this will be useful. Hit points plus 25. Oh, yes. Very nice. We're lucky that there are no Ifrits over there. You can shoot fireballs at them constantly. There, just checking that there are some no more lamps that I love. Okay, let's continue. Please. Please kill. Twelve points of plus one damage. Nice. It ought to work just like new. So we'll come back through this door at a later moment. Right now, we want to continue this way. Useful. 
<laughs> that was funny. Definitely, like if like genies and ifrits are more uh, annoying enemies of the two, because they fly and they tend not to approach you, as you can see, and they are very fast as well. Yes. So we have to clear these fellas as quickly as possible because we have another. Yeah. So let's see how many of you are. The noises that they make are exactly the same as noises of one monitors if you listen closely. I don't know why, but that's how it is. So I will not go any further into this room, because this room... Well, this is like the final room that we'll have to go in. You can see oh. there. Fuck. Yeah. So that's... Uh, I was planning on showing this to you later, but this room is irradiated. So if you go inside, uh, you're gonna start taking periodic damage. Unless you have a crystal skull. Crystal skull uh, can absorb the radiation damage. And oh. in order to... Uh, to stop radiation damage completely, you have to do what the uh, uh, what these two murals said is you have to step in the cleansing pool. And there's a cleansing pool over there, so we're gonna do that. And radiation damage applies like once you step in, you start taking the radiation damage. Uh, when you get out of Tomb of Varn, you don't take radiation damage, but if you once you're once you start taking it, unless you step in the cleansing pool while you're still in the barn, you will take radiation damage. And the crystal skulls are more most protective of the 
of the characters that they're actually in the inventory. You can see read periodic crystal scorps, scorp absorbs radiation damage and this is a cleansing pool. So we cleansed the radiation damage and I'm not gonna go further into that room yet because we need all the codes and we don't have all of them yet. Okay, so this is the most, uh, let's say, um, mm, confusing part of the whole dungeon. have my cursor over this one. Why is it that I'm hitting the other fella? Oh, here. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So now we go to the other side. Now we go over here to the Chamber of Doom. Uh, okay, we can hear both of them. Perfect. Don't fall, we don't want to fall down just yet. It's not gonna get us anywhere. Yeah, this is a fine room. Oh, three guardians. Holy shit, that's a lot. Mm, but we cleared the other side at least. Just like new. Let 
can see it's not that they're doing individually a lot of damage, it's just that collectively there's so many of them that we have to use uh, the spells that we never used before. The healing spells! Like, When's the last time we used healing spells? As you might guess, the purpose of this room is to fall down. If I remember correctly, this is a small room. This is the way out. I think I remember correctly. So let's go here first. first. This is another world you fall down if you're not careful somewhere. Okay. So this is the way out. But we need to go here. First I'm gonna go this way. Place is, this place is very confusing because of all the you know all the tunnels and the lines on the map crisscross so you have to be very mindful of where you're going. Thank <laughs> you. 
4 p.m. So it's already past bedtime. That's why it's confusing. Like new. Last hit and he had to damage my weapon. Oh. To this chest, we have some armor. Oh, this will be useful. A little bit of might. Water temple key, very important key, and the first mate's code. Ooh, this will be useful. We're gonna read what this is about, but first open it again. So, uh, what do you have? Might plus 23, and how much might do you have? Ah, oh, spell points. Right, let's read. Mm. First mate's code is K-Cops. Okay. So, for let's go a bit here. You can see... There's some like high tech looking place which is barred by the higher wall of hieroglyphs. So we'll have to open it somehow. I don't know why we can't vault over it, but uh, well, that's our objective for this map. That's why we're collecting all these codes to be able to proceed. I think I worked too long turn, but it doesn't matter. Okay, uh... This route is fine. Yes, it's fine. Okay. I actually did the very same mistake when I played this uh, in my last playthrough. I forgot that there's so many of him here. So I use the old trick, hide behind the corner so that people who are in the back can't shoot us. But if I stopped there and shot some Dragon Balls, I would uh, be able to clear the room uh, like much quicker. But still, you know, they can't hit me and I can hit them. Well, they can't hit me with... Uh, any ranged attacks, they can do melee attacks. lot of people. So let's clear half of them. Ah. Okay. Ah, I hoped it would hit more. 
Oh well. So you can see the Dragon Ball does nothing to them. Uh, they're completely immune to magic. Hoping it would go past him. Oh well. Come on, are you serious? Ah, uh, stupid. Can't rest here. Let's uh, go. Yeah, so you can fall down here, which I don't advise because shit, I did it. Uh, yeah. We went up, we went through the picture door, but I think we haven't gone down. Oh, we did. Okay, that's good. Um, fine. So, I think... Yeah. So, now the next stop is Water Temple. Which is a fun little place. But first, let's heal ourselves. Oh, we're not even weak. Are we? I don't even seem so. Can we assist you? No. Be with you. Okay. Mm. Tomb of Arn. What? I don't know what happened. door is locked but we have the back door key so this is the back door so you can go all the way there's actually a passage here and you can get to here through this back door so uh, over here there are a lot of genies a lot of them you can see there's a mass like there's 30 of them here so I found that the best way to deal with them is just to go balls deep so that they all aggregate you're gonna take some damage but now you have, like, you know... Once uh, your casters are available, if they're ever fucking available, you can start casting some fancy Dragon Balls. That clears the room very quickly. So 
so none of them are immune. So just find the, you know, the f where the where the thickest and start casting. Yeah, so this cleared like five of them. And don't worry about anything else. One really? I had more luck on my previous uh, playthrough. They nearly, they very neatly, uh, you know, gathered into one spot, and I was able to kill them like extremely quickly. like that. How many... S okay, you can cast twice more before we start to think about it. Oh, come on, stop! Yeah, that's the problem, you know, with them being so far away from... Like, with the roofs being so high, like, they can really... Really fly up and escape, you know, not able to close in on them. Okay, here's the last mother. So that was not that was not as fast as I hoped it would be, but I don't know. It's not that I need any more money. Like I have three and a half million and even if I train by fifteen levels I'm not gonna make a dent in my budget. So the fact that Ifa is asleep is a bit is a bit of a trouble, but not that much. She's gonna wake up when she starts taking damage. So 
So there's nothing here. Fortunately, she's asleep, so I can't go up the way I normally would. And there's some enemies over there that I don't want to pull yet. Well, because we'll be coming back this way, so there's no point. Normally, I would jump up this ramp all the way to the door, but he fell asleep. So this is the water temple that we got a key for. Guardian. He's gonna die very quickly. Hopefully he doesn't. So there's another chest which contains incinerate. Another crystal skull. Cloak. Cloak. Biblioteca chest key. So that's uh, you know. Uh, that's the one that we missed. Okay. So this is navigator's code, which is Ulus. I don't know. Let's see what this boat is about. This boat is not really special. Oh, okay. We've seen this, we've been here before. This is where the... Actually, I'm gonna... Go in through here. Oh, you can jump all airborne, of course. Oh, come on, really? I don't think it does anything. Yeah, I was right, yeah. Uh, so it was a bit waste of mana, but we should have enough for... Uh, escape. So before I open the, before I go to Botek, I'm gonna open the flame door and uh, get rid of some, uh, you know, as many of the enemies as I can. Because uh, the flame door goes to the same big room, the final room, as the as, uh, from the other side. So I'm gonna try to clear all those red dots that you can see on my minimap. locked because oh yeah okay please 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 don't hit anybody uh -oh. fuck that's oops oops fuck your oops jesus why always have to do this to me
Alright. Okay, there's too many shooting us, so we're just gonna spread the load a bit. Okay, so we are all irradiated, which is not good. You can see her hit points slowly increasing. Because she has the vampiric bow. Just checking if all my equipment is... Uh, my weapons are in a good shape before I... How much do I need? Twenty. And how much do I have? Forty-eight. So the thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean this room since I'm already here. I'm gonna take some radiation damage, but I'm gonna clean this room. Then go to Biblioteca. This is interesting. See, there's an enemy right about, right above me, or below me. I don't know where. That's uh, interesting. I don't know where he is. Okay, I need to cleanse myself first. Cleansing pool. So I'm gonna try to look for him. Is he above? So I saved game, if he's not above, I'm gonna go try to go somewhere below. Or how, to, how could I miss him? Where is he?
Where is he? So the only place he can be is in this long room which goes from this long room where does it go from? Yeah, I see the le they see the outline. Apparently I haven't gotten there. So let's get out. Repeat me sorpigal. One spot point. Can we assist you? Not be with you. So we need to go back to biblioteca here. To pick up the last of the keys. Wow, thunderbolts. But we have Ares, which is Ooh, shield of magic. Not really. Oh, Meteor so shower. This is Varn chest key, which we need to have, and doctor's code, the final code. So, uh, what does the doctor code say? It's Yokm. Okay. So, um, as it says here, mm. this is the last key to in sequence, but the rest of the keys mm. are not in sequence, and um what you have to do really um like only the person who has the scrolls can uh can speak them and uh if you uh, try to do that with anybody else then they won't be what the hell where is he okay i'm saving him now Seems to be on the outside. See that dot? Ah, oh, there he is. This guy is still over there. I don't like to leave any enemies unkilled. Hmm. So I'm gonna set Lloyd speaking back here. Is he? Gonna fall down because it's easier. He is off to my right. So how can I get there? Did I miss him? He is. Are you my little friend? Where are you?
Okay, you're not gonna be here. Damn. Where is he? Where is he? There's a chamber here. The outline of the chamber is here. Damn. I don't remember how to get there. Going up. No, I've been to this chamber. Is he trapped? What the hell is going on? He's right above me, below me. Where is he? Safe here. Let's fall down. Okay, let's load. Let's use the. Mm. There's some corridor over here. I see. Okay. Where? Seems to be under me, over me. Where the? Where the hell is he? No, this is... This leads to this room where you fall down. Holy crap! I mean, it's not essential that I kill him. I've been to this chamber. Hmm. I know I'm wasting your time a bit. Yeah, there's nothing here. Can't be a chamber they missed. I don't know where he is. Okay, so the solution. I'm gonna forget that he f completely forget about his existence. So we have codes. Yes, if you actually read the codes uh, backwards, as uh, it's similar to the uh, to the solution to the dark containment quest, the obelisk quest. In that quest, you had to read the code downwards this you have to read backwards to realize where it's coming from so doctor's co code is McCoy read backwards navigators code is Sulu uh, this navigators. first mate's code is Spock first officer is of course sorry commons officer is Uhura 
engineer is obviously Scotty and if you know your Star Trek the captain's code is Kirk and uh, the story is that on our very first playthrough with my brother while he was playing I was looking uh, we didn't find this scroll if you remember the scroll was hidden in the uh, in the wall behind this scarab button and we somehow we didn't see it uh, so when we realized at some point that and so we didn't have this code and remember this was 1988 an era where we didn't have like the readily readily, readily obtainable information on the internet so uh, you know for I'm not being I'm not a big Star Trek fan and like we spent about 15 minutes trying to remember who was the captain of the Starship Enterprise and I remember lying on the floor you know arms over my head trying to squeeze that information from the depths of my brain right now you know you can just uh, alt tab or go to your phone and google it back then there was no such thing you know so you can uh, uh, understand my elation when uh, I finally realized that uh, the captain is Kirk James T. Kirk so yeah so now we have to put all these codes in these for some reason these are the uh, the place where you must put the code so engineer is Scotty which means it talks okay let's go this way Comms officer uh, is Uhura, so Aruhu. Oh, I may try to fall down here later after I put on all the codes. <laughs> 